Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and we will have a little series on internet connectivity uh, and it will go from understanding what to look at when the internet doesn't work all the way to understanding the speed of the internet you have and options that you might have if something goes wrong with the hardware like the Wi-Fi adapter for example. Um, so this comes from a host of questions that I've gotten over the last month. And I think a lot of people will be interested in this. And you might be able to self-diagnose your own problems if you are, of course, um, connected to the internet and have issues. Now, the first thing that we're going to talk in this video is internet speed. What's the speed of your internet connection? And what all the numbers mean and what's a good speed for internet connection actually for most of what we do on the internet and for regular users actually if you are at 5 to 10 megabits um, internet connectivity you're probably okay for pretty much everything you want to do you don't need that much speed for average everyday usage you know zoom meetings uh, Skype or just surfing the web. Uh, these are using the bandwidth, but not that much. So five to 10 megabits per second is enough. Why would you need more? It depends on what you do. If you download a lot of huge files, big files, if you do like me, upload a lot of YouTube videos, for example, these are things that you will benefit from having faster internet connectivity. But in reality, you really don't need to have. If you're at 10 megabits or more in speed, you're fine and you will not have any problems with the average day uh, things that you do like watching videos. There could be exceptions to the rule, for example, for a family. If, for example, your family, one watches Netflix, another watches YouTube, another does some other stuff on the internet, somebody might be watching or uploading YouTube videos, downloading files, um, more internet speed might actually be useful in the cases of what is uh, done on a family level with multiple devices running. How do you know your internet speed? Well, the best way for you to know the speed of your internet is first of all, if you're on Wi-Fi, be as close as possible to the router for this test. If possible, connect a cable, an Ethernet cable, directly to your PC from the router or modem. There's a website called speedtest.net. This is pretty much the best place. It's going to find a local server near you and it's going to tell you what uh, speed you have. So here I am. This is what I'm on video draw. Telus Mobility is where it's connecting and you just click the go button and check out your internet speed. My internet speed is 120 megabits per second uh, download and it's a um, roughly 20 megabits per second upload. So what you want to have in your speed is something that is close to or better than your download or upload speed. So here you see I'm at 147.27 megabits per second for download, which exceeds my 120 megabits connection. I am at 20 megabits upload and 20 megabits, I'm at 22 for the upload. That exceeds, once again, the speed of my internet connection. That means I am enjoying and using the full speed of my internet connection when I actually am um, connected to the internet. Now, maybe your speed is slower than what the advertised uh, speed is. The next video, we're going to deal with that and talk about why you might be at a slower speed than what is advertised. And we're also going to tell you things you can do to make that better, depending where the problem is. So, that's the first thing to know. Speedtest.net, I'll put the link in the description below the video. How do you test your internet speed? 
And if it's not up to what you think, what can be done in the next video? Now, I talked about um, Wi-Fi and being close to it. Why? Because the f if you are far away from your router, the signal level that you have is, of course, less. So it might tell you that the connectivity or the connection is you know, very good, good, only fair, or weak signal is available. The weaker the signal on Wi-Fi, the slower the speed of your connection because there's less, there's interference, more packet loss. So by slowing down, it helps maintain stability of the connection, but also it will slow down. On an average every day looking at a website, it doesn't really matter because looking at websites is something that is extremely non-demanding. You know, just looking at a website is usually not a problem for speed. But if you watch videos and it cuts through all the time, if you watch and freezes and so on, well, how far are you from the uh, connection, from the router itself? And there are different types of connection, different types of protocol. This is where you might learn that maybe upgrading your device is a good idea. All of this is coming up in the series we have today. But now, for now, you know how to check your speed. And you know if it's as good, better, or worse than what your advertised speed is on your connection that you pay for every month. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.